Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today I'm going to be reviewing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Now, Stormblood is the most recent expansion to Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV is an MMO that's been around for a couple years now, if you don't know. Of course, developed by Square Enix. And it's an MMO that I played in the past, and I thought it was a pretty good game when I played it. Um, I don't, I'm, as you guys know, I'm not really a tab target kind of person. I'm more of an action game oriented person. But this game, it feels pretty good. It's a pretty fun game. It's fun to play. Uh, even though it's tab targeted, it kind of almost feels like an action game just because it's so fast paced. Square really did a good job with the combat system in this game, the way the combat works and the way the abilities flow together. It's a very well made, very self-actualized game, very self-realized game, very well optimized game. You hardly ever, 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 ever get any lag no matter what, no matter what settings I put it on. Though it is kind of old. And it's just a dungeon crawling game, just like many other games. Uh, you find a group, you raid up, you join a raid group, you group up, you join a raid group, you, you raid bosses, you kill bosses. Same old, same old, right? But the way Final Fantasy does it, I don't know. There's just something about it that just makes it fun. It's really engaging. The combat is really engaging. The bosses attack you and they expect you to move out of the way to dodge. It doesn't just, you're not just sitting there spamming buttons, attacking the monster for 30 minutes. It's actually a lot of mechanics and strategy and thinking and, and to everything. There's a lot of many different classes. There's healers, tanks, and DPS, of course. And the way you play each of these classes and their different roles will completely change your playstyle almost 100% which adds a lot of replayability because you can swap between classes on the fly. Sure, you may have to level them up again from zero, but you can swap from class to class on the same character so you don't have to start a new character to play any class you want. So I always thought Final Fantasy XIV was a pretty damn good game. Uh, the MMO itself and now the expansion came out uh, Stormblood and I haven't played Final Fantasy in a long time keep in mind I haven't played Final Fantasy 14 in a long time so I decided to check out Stormblood and it's actually pretty much the same game I don't know why people are getting so hype about Stormblood like it's changing Final Fantasy or something like that of course there were a few class rebalances some new classes came out and everything like that but at the end of the day it is the same game and that is a good thing don't get me wrong but it's not like the end of the world. It's not like they've completely revamped and changed it to a freaking open world PvP action game. Like it's still Final Fantasy XIV, guys. But nonetheless, it is a very, very, very good MMO. And when comparing it to Black Desert, um, of course, Black Desert obviously has better gameplay in a sense to me personally because it's not tab target. But what Black Desert lacks, I feel like Final Fantasy makes up for. For example, Black Desert lacks any form of in-game group coordinate, group coordinated PvP or PVE. Well, there is PvP, but the Black Desert lacks completely raids and all that. Like, there's none of that. Uh, Final Fantasy is all about raids and things like that. So, it's a good change of pace from Black Desert to play Final Fantasy, as Final Fantasy sort of complements Black Desert in a way. Uh, there's no endless progression. You pretty much get to a cap and that's it. Though getting to the cap may take you a while, there is a cap in every in every patch, of course, and uh, it's just a it's very simple. It's very easy to get into. It's very quick. Play once a day, you're good. While Black Desert is more time consuming, so they kind of complement each other in a way. Especially for those guys who are looking for a better PVE experience than Black Desert, I definitely recommend you check out Final Fantasy XIV. It has a lot to offer in that department for sure. Unfortunately, it is hidden behind the paywall you have to pay twenty dollars for the base game and then forty dollars for an expansion which i think is just astronomically crazy like i know i just made up a word there but why would why would an expansion pack cost double the price of the game i just don't get it i mean maybe that's a normal thing in pay to play mmos this is a pay to play mmo obviously you also have to pay a subscription fee fifteen dollars a month to play on top of the sixty dollars you need to access the expansion pack and the game but other than that, it's a pretty good game. The biggest gripes I have about Final Fantasy XIV are the systems that are in place outside of the game itself. The way you have to register for this game and activate your copy is a nightmare. And Square Enix should be ashamed of themselves for what they have here. This system needs to be changed. It's the worst system I've pretty much ever seen. Hopefully you never have to go through with the things that I've had to go through with just to play this game. 
But other than that, guys, yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update. I think this game is pretty damn good. I would definitely give this game a W out of L. That's my new rating system, by the way. Whenever I review a game, I'm going to go with either a W or an L. And this game definitely gets a W. Final Fantasy XIV is definitely worth your time, 100% if you're interested in PvE gameplay. And that's about it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm probably going to be streaming this game pretty often on top of Black Desert. So if you guys want to check that out, be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. It's your boy Hero. Peace.